Greetings and welcome to Sunduzi News Podcast. My name is Anele Makanya and I'll be your host. Today we are hosting the Municipal Manager, Mr. Lulamile Mapoloba, who is responsible for the administration of the municipality. As we are kick-starting the year of 2024, we wish to know what is the progress in terms of service delivery and what are the plans for the year of 2024. Mr. Mapoloba, welcome to the News Podcast. Thank you very much, Anneli. Let me appreciate the opportunity that you have given me to appear before you, before you and the residents of the city to discuss and uh, inform the residents about uh, some of the initiatives that the municipality is doing to improve service delivery in the city. But also really appreciate the fact that you guys at Communications have come up with this innovation of a podcast uh, where we're able to directly interact um, with the residents using the medium of a podcast that can always be revisited at every given time. So this is very good and, and I really appreciate it. Thank you so much, M. Um, that is very much appreciated from the communications unit, which is your office. Maybe, Mr. Mapoloba, if you can briefly tell the residents of Peter Maritzburg who is Mapoloba, uh, your background, uh, your qualifications, uh, let the people of Peter Maritzburg know you better than we do. No, thank you very much. Uh, I've been in the local government for quite some time. Uh, before coming into the city uh, of uh, Msunduzi or Peter Marisbeck, I used to work at Mithatuze as a city manager. Uh, I had a stint at Bloemfontein in Mangaung municipality where I was uh, appointed by National Treasury as a, a local government uh, specialist uh, specializing in governance and institutional development. Mm. But also I have worked at Greater Cockstadt municipality as a municipal manager uh, I've worked at uh, Mandeni, I've worked at uh, Umzimkulu, at Alfred and so. Most of my background, I think I started as a teacher. I started as a teacher. Um, mm. I became a counselor. I became an administrator. I've also worked in parliament as an advisor to the Speaker of the National Assembly, who was then Ms. Balegambet. Um, in the far as qualifications are concerned, I hold two master's degrees. One is for uh, master's in business leadership, which I've done with the University of South Africa, UNISA. I've also done master's in public management with the Genesis uh, School of Public Management. Uh, I've got a bachelor's degree in arts. I've got, uh, uh, I've just completed my LLB. Uh, degree uh, recently last year mm. um, and I've got quite a number of other qualifications in the area of management uh, finance you know uh, project management uh, performance management so in a number of areas so so um, I bring a lot of uh, experience into the institution uh, mm. into Musunduzi but I, I've actually been in local government uh, for the better part of my working life. So it's something that I fully understand and I enjoy, mm. you know, um, um, working for the for the people, ensuring that uh, we turn around the municipality, you know, meeting our, le our constitutional and legal obligations. So uh, it's something that I do with a lot of, uh, of pleasure. I enjoy it. You know, because it's what I know uh, best, uh, you know, in my environment. Thank you so much. And, and what a very fruitful and sound uh, background about yourself. And uh, the mention of that you started uh, your career as a teacher, I can uh, safely say that uh, it is noticeable within the staff of Umsunduzi Municipality because what we've seen uh, with you or what we've noticed as a staff is that you remember each and every face you met and you even remember the name, which is quite good mm. for uh, someone who is managing such a big institution to know everyone, all the managers, all the staff, like you can tell who this is who this one is dealing with what we appreciate that so much mm so maybe if you can briefly tell about that 
what was your strategy when you first came in Msunduzi municipality with all the challenges, with everything uh, that you came into? You had to inherit some of the things that you were not part of when they happened, but you are in a drive of making sure that you turn uh, the things around. What was your strategy, MM? No, my strategy was a very simple one. Um, I think when I came in here, uh, is that the municipality was under administration, it's still under administration, mm. but also in terms of section 139B of the constitution, we are also under voluntary financial recovery plan. So one of the immediate tasks was then to ensure that uh, we reposition the institution uh, to ensure that it is able to meet, because the intervention is caused by the fact that it's when the MEC for local government see that the institution is no longer doing what it is created to do. For instance, if you go to section 152 of the constitution, there are five objects of local government, why we exist as local government. Mm -hmm. But basically to that is to deliver services. So once you deviate from that, then there would be an intervention. So we've done a lot of work. One, to ensure that there is stability within management, uh, from top management to the entirety of management, to ensure that uh, there is enough uh, uh, synergy between the political office mm. and the administration office. Fortunately for us, uh, in the form of the mayor, the deputy mayor, the speaker, the chief whip, we have got uh, very formidable leaders who really understand, who are very supportive to us as administration. Mm -hmm. So my task was not a very difficult one because, uh, you know, I found a willing uh, horses, but also was to ensure that yeah, I'm administrators, people are supposed to, are, are qualified for their responsibilities. Mm -hmm. So we had to ensure that uh, we put them through various programs, for instance, municipal finance management program, which was something that people were not taking seriously. Mm -hmm. I'm happy to report that most of our managers have undergone that program. Some of them will be completing in April. But also was to look at some of the critical reports uh, that were done by COP under Section 106 of mm -hmm. the Constitution. Those are reports that the municipality is supposed to implement, uh, which were not implemented, which has made uh, COPTA to intervene. So we had to come up with a program to say, how do we do this? And we have done wonderfully, such that the Auditor General has recognized that it's one area where we are green when it comes to consequence management. Because we, we had to stamp authority. Uh, I had to stamp authority because instill fear amongst employees so that they know that uh, crime does not pay. Mm -hmm. They know that if I do this, this is wrong, the action is going to be taken but also where to create a sound working relations with unions mm. through the local labor forum. It's a task that we have done. As I'm talking to you, Anneli, in our last meeting of LLF, which was in December, we had closed all the issues, literally all the issues that were on the agenda. When I came here, there were around 38 issues, mm. you know, on the agenda of LLF that were not dealt with. Working with Ms. Mlapo and corporate services, where to put a lot of effort and energy but also where to go and uh, look for money to ensure that we deliver services. So this is a very big municipality. Mm -hmm. It's got 81 councillors, 41 wards. The second to a table is a high capacity municipality. So we had to make the staff realize who they are, mm -hmm. which giant are they working for. It was, so this is a giant. Yeah. And therefore, we have to instill that confidence in our staff, you know, motivate them to understand that they are very privileged mm. to work for this municipality, such that, you know, um, we have been visiting them in their various working areas, pep talk, get ideas from them, make mm. them participate, met, make them feel appreciated. Just this morning I was meeting with corporate services. Mm. Uh, um, um, on, on Tuesday I was meeting with finance. You know, I had met with, uh, with uh, the workshop and fleet. I had met with waste management. You know, to make employees see that uh, we really appreciate, because this institution, it is uh, what it is now due to Abba Sevens. So Abba Sevens must feel mm. appreciated. So part of the strategy was that you, you must uh, ensure that Abba Sevens are appreciated, but also 
to deal with issues of ESCOM, mm. issues of Umgeni water. We are owing them where to find strategies. We have applied for a debt relief through National Treasury, mm. which has been granted. Uh, 252 million rands will be written off by National Treasury. In fact, National Treasury will pay ESCOM on our PF. Mm. You know, to ensure that uh, at least it gives us a relief, and that will go a long way towards uh, improving the um, the cash flow of the municipality. But also, we to enter into a service level agreement, mm. a payment plan with the Umgeni Water, you know, which is called now Umgeni Utugela Water, and mm. we've stuck to that payment plan. Um, we are busy now negotiating other areas of cooperation. For instance. One area that we have identified uh, is around our water losses. Mm. We are working with them to ensure that uh, they assist us to, uh, to reduce our losses of water. In fact, next time I come, mm. I will talk at length around the issues of water and sanitation and electricity because those are some of the topical uh, issues. Yes. We had yeah. to create order as SCM. Mm. Create order as SCM. So that when you appoint service providers, it is done according to the law. Mm. There is no favoritism, there is no prejudice, there is no fraud, there is no corruption. Mm. We had to terminate contracts that were illegally awarded, you know, literally, mm. uh, security contracts and other contracts. We had to terminate them. You know, uh, uh, we had to take action against the people who, who awarded those, despite knowing that this service provider is not meeting mm. the, 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 the the requirements of the of the of the of the advert. But also we had to come to a situation around recruitment where you'll find that uh, you will have people who are not qualified in senior positions, qualified mm. people in junior positions. That is a mismatch that cannot be allowed in any institution. Yeah, true. So, so those are some of the things that uh, we have been working on. Consequence management, mm. uh, we, have, uh, we have been very strong on that one and uh, very, very, very strong. So we have made tremendous progress. Um, service delivery, uh, we went to you know, disaster, mm. national disaster management center. We have got about 39 million now that we're going to use uh, to, to, to deal with the infrastructure that was damaged mm. a bit a while back, where to recruit a new disaster manager, a, a very capable lady whom we got from the Provincial Disaster Management Center. Mm. Uh, and, and you can hear from even yourselves, mm. from other people, the, the sense and the energy that the lady, Mrs. Ntuli, has introduced into that particular uh, area, where to deal with filling of vacancies, um, um, ensuring that uh, vacancies are filled is an ongoing task, but mm. I'm very impressed uh, with the level of enthusiasm uh, that we've instilled there. We had to also to confront uh, the issues of billing, okay. you know, mm. where you, you, you talk to the issues of, we had to introduce what we call a multi-billing, although <laughs> residents did not understand it at the, at the beginning, but I'm happy to report that the residents are used to it. Mm. They are now enjoying it. But when we introduced to her, there was an outcry. There was a confusion. It was, it was <laughs> like uh, we have killed somebody. Mm. But uh, with time, we are comfortable. We are, we are definitely happy. But we still need, there's still a long way to go on it. Mm. We still have to have a situation where our building can be trusted by the red pairs. Yeah. It's one area that we need to conquer. Mm. It billing has got, I've got to, when I receive a statement, I must be able to estimate it. You True. know, uh, I, I must know how much am I going to pay, the, on average, the mm. municipality each and every month. We have not yet there, due to the fact that we still have to master the issue of metering of mm. most of our city, more especially around electricity and around water. Mm. So the, that is an area that we need to refine. But working with the Office of the Chief Financial Office, mm. uh, uh, Mrs. Nobo, uh, Kanye, Kanye, Malone, and other colleagues, I think we're going to uh, turn the corner. But also, we have to look at the financial system, SEP, mm. uh, to ensure that it is able to work for the municipality. You have spent a lot of money there. Mm. But also, we have to look at the issue of the implementation of the new staff regulations. I'm proud to say that uh, working with Ms. Simla at Corporate Services, uh, we have a new adopted organogram. Mm. The policies accompanying the organogram have been adopted by council. So the, the strategy was to say, let the municipality comply mm. 
mm. with all the laws and the regulations. We had to review policies and bylaws because most of them were old. Yeah. You know, were untasty for about 13, 15 years, some of them. Mm. But also were to mobilize other stakeholders like the Development Bank of Southern Africa to come in and assist us to plow money. Okay. I'm proud to say, for instance, the water uh, service plan is being sponsored by DBSA, electricity master plan, water master plan are being sponsored by DBSA. Mm. The revenue strategy, mm. the review is sponsored by DBSA. We are not paying a cent there. DBSA is funding on all the service providers that are working there. So mm. we, we, we have been hard at work and we are still hard at work to ensure that the, the but also, I, I nearly forgot this, the maintenance of the infrastructure. You deal yeah, with your, your, your potholes, mm -hmm. you deal with your street lights. For instance, Deputy Mayor earlier today was all over the show. Mm. Uh, Deputy Mayor looking at the street lights mm. um, because we're going to open schools now uh, and we're going to put up a program. But also the issue of the potholes has been very uh, throughout the city roads. Mm. It's one area that we've got to give it the, the serious attention. But the other issue, Anele, has been the issue of, of electricity. Yeah. I'll yes, we have not been doing well in that particular space. Mm. I had to request Mr. Mkunu, Simpu Mkunu, one of the highly recognized uh, professional engineer in electricity, mm. to come and assist. And I'm glad that he, 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 in, indeed he accepted that. Mm. We're trying to turn around our electricity uh, business unit. One, to ensure that we build a relationship with NERSA, mm. uh, the, the regulator. We build correctly. Mm. We reduce areas that are unbuilt. We reduce theft of electricity or electricity losses. Mm. But also to deal with what you would know better, Anneli, because as a journalist yourself, you would know this. Um, where residents are complaining that we our response time is yeah, low. Low, yeah. Uh, um, for instance, we supply electricity to Hilton. Mm. So mm -hmm. we, 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 we need to deal with the residents of Hilton. Yeah. Uh, and they need to feel us because whilst they are at Umgeli, but we supply electricity there. So we are working on that, but also to ensure that we've got qualified electricians. Mm. Um, but also we are professionalizing the municipality. It's a program where we want to ensure that we build the capacity of staff. I am a firm believer that a capacitated staff member is mm. a happy staff member and that person will be productive. Yeah, true. So we have released the people to say people must understand they must be registered mm. with professional bodies, they must attend conferences, they must uh, attend the SALCA mm. uh, uh, initiatives, programs that they put together. So, 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 so that people can be abreast of the developments within their area like yourself. Mm. If you go to uh, a national communicators forum, you, you know, you sit there, you meet your colleagues all over the country. Mm. So you can be able to get other issues, copy what is good, bring it at Mtsunduzi. So we have made everybody to, to know and appreciate and feel that in my desk, mm. I have a role to play. To play. Yeah. yeah. So if in yourself, Anneli, you must know that in your corner, mm. you have uh, Andile must know that uh, in his corner, mm. he has a role to play with this camera. Mm. Andile must be able to, you know, like the late uh, Peter mm. Makubane that uh, was, was buried uh, yesterday. You know, we, we must use this camera for, for development of the, yeah. of the city. That's true. Thank you so much, M.M. That was very mouthful. Uh, maybe, M.M., before you came here or even when you were here, there were articles about the staff of the municipality not being qualified. But I can hear that when you mention you are talking about the, about the managers who are highly qualified, you are talking about the staff that is highly qualified. And that is a proof of, with the awards that we got uh, last year in 2023, one which is for the Blue Drop. Maybe, M.M., can you tell us what did you do? Did you have to change the management? what happened or when you came here the staff was already qualified and there was no problem with them no we we we, we you see i always uh, believe in working with what we have found there yes we may introduce one or two people mm. but one of the things was to motivate the current crop of staff yeah uh, appreciate them mm. make them see their roles for instance if you go to water 
yeah you have got very highly qualified people there. if you look about fatima they are very qualified if you go to about these mm. shailene you go about lungsani if you go to roads you look at tiago lindelwa mm. you look at about peggy sosibo you look at about jabulo msomi uh, you look at uh, to vanil maharaj mm. the colleagues are there but the, the issue was let them believe in themselves yeah uh, let them believe that uh, they appre- appreciate you know when you appreciate a staff member when you make a staff member member know that you believe in them like for instance what you said earlier when a staff member knows that mm knows me by my name mm. it, the staff member is very happy yeah you know if a staff member is very happy to say it means there's something that i'm doing mm. that is making the mm to recognize me so that's very important. Uh, mm. So we've got very good staff members. The, 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 the issue, Anel, which I'm very much against in, was that you have got qualified people who are in junior positions. Mm. And some people in higher positions, you find that they are not. Well, we have dealt with that. We've confronted that. We've dealt with it. We've called it. And uh, people are happy. People are working. Indeed, the recently conducted uh, skills audit mm. by Cocta has identified that uh, Msunduzi, in the main, you know, the majority of colleagues have got master's degrees. Mm. Uh, some of them even two. Yeah. You know, uh, but you find that they're in junior positions. They are, they, are, they are dealing with that particular issue on an ongoing, but also instill discipline. Mm. Because you can't deliver services to the people if there is not the, uh, 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 discipline. Yeah. Instilled principles of Batupili. Batupili says you put people first. Yeah, so true. if a resident of of, of Sundus, like for instance in my phone here, mm. this is like a, a public phone. Yeah. This is like a call center. Mm. Everybody calls, but I respond to them. Mm. I respond to them, I channel issues there, they come back and say, well, thank you, MM. Mm. No, electricity is back. Thank you, MM. Like this morning, mm. I received a call very early in the morning to say that there was water gushing out. There was a best, sub- a best pipe somewhere. Mm. I forwarded that to this this immediately attended to it, assigned the plumbers to go there. Mm. A resident called back and said, no, they fixed it. Yeah. So th- those are some of the things that would make the organization to, to deliver. Yeah. Uh, uh, but also we are receiving a lot of political support from mm. our leaders. They are assisting us, uh, giving eye guidance uh, there. Mm. So that issue makes us then to feel that as staff members of the municipality, we are appreciated. But also, when I found any one of the things Anel has been grievances that were not mm. dealt with. Yeah. You know, I've been dealing with grievances emanating from twenty uh, from twenty seventeen. Twenty eighteen. Twenty but all those grievances I've confronted them. Mm. We've dealt with them, we've given them direction. As we speak now we're current. Mm. Placement. There were staff members that were never planned since twenty thirteen. Mm. But we have finalized the placement process. We have placed everybody. Everybody is in there. If there are anything uh, remaining, it might be one or two issues that will be receiving uh, uh, attention. And staff members are happy. Even if he he or she does not win a particular issue, the very fact that we have given him or her a hearing, mm. but also we have to concentrate on the employment assistance program. There are colleagues, there are one, of, for instance, one of the issues I've identified, colleagues are heavily indebted here mm. financially. They, they they come in my office crying to show me their pay slips mm. to look at it mm so we have got to assist those people because it's, it's affecting their morale it's demotivating them working with corporate services about moreto mm. about mr dube clinic he we have been con- even senior manager there's only senior manager i referred there mm. uh, i referred there with a, a drinking problem i referred there i said go there and be and be assisted so all in all, Anil, I'm trying to say you 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 lift the organization by being inclusive. Mm, mm. Let everybody be, be with play them. a yeah, role, yeah. be collective. Because you, you, you cannot, as a leader, be all by yourself, have mm. all the solutions. Staff members, even those that are sweeping, that mm. are cleaning, they have very good very ideas. And yeah. I've built that relationship. But also, I run an open door policy. Mm. Uh, I run an open door policy so that staff members can access me, can and, and it's assisting me. They, they they give me very valuable information, mm. which is assisting me 
to improve administration of the municipality. Okay, I'm, I'm, I've heard you, f I think, for the second time now. We are about to wrap up our, 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 our conversation. I've heard you maybe for the second time mentioning that uh, the leadership that you are currently working with, the political leadership, is very helpful in terms of making sure that your work is easy because there are no... Um, there is nothing that hinders you as the MM to do your work. Maybe uh, as we are in uh, the um, elections year, what can you say, what confidence can you give to the residents of Peter Maritzburg in terms of service delivery? My, 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 my one, of, uh, one of the things that I'm always, you know, son, I know very well. Mm. I, one culture that I instill in my staff members is that they must serve the residents of the city impartial. Yeah. I don't want politics. You mm. serve, it, but section 195 of the constitution is clear. Mm. Serve impartially. So what we can assure residents of the city is the expedite of the service delivery. Mm. You are going to see, Anel, you will be here. You will be going here. The mayor will be going uh, uh, what to what to for sort turning, mm. uh, to hand over. Pro In fact, even now, uh, uh, you know, we are working around the mayor is going to go to title deeds to give people their title deeds and I think around the 25th of January. Mm. So we, we, we are improving. And one of the best things is that we have restored the confidence of the provincial and national government in mm. us. So it's easy now when we put up a business plan for that business plan to come back to with approved, money. Yeah. You know, because they know we will account. Mm. The money won't be lost. So, and they appreciate that. Mm. You know, we have received a lot of accolades from National Treasury, from COGTA, from other government departments, ATIA, mm. and Babu Duma. You know, they are appreciating working with us. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you so much, Balalil Basin <coughs> I hope Nizwele from the MM, who is responsible for all the administrative of the municipality, working together with the political leadership and all the employees of the <coughs> municipality. So we meet again. See you